welcome to day 12 of the 25 apps in 25 days series, the daily series where I show off a brand new app every single day for 25 days in a row. If you missed any of the previous episodes, I've linked a playlist down below where you can catch up. But for today's episode, we've got an incredibly powerful app that unlocks advanced gestures on your phone and it's completely free and open source. As always, just a reminder that this video and this series does not have any sponsors, but it is supported by those of you who download and use any of my apps, as well as those who purchase any of the digital products that I sell on my website, all of which will be linked below. And I do wanna quickly highlight the companion app to this series, my app shelf, which is a library of hand-picked app recommendations from yours truly. We add brand new app recommendations every single day, so it's definitely worth a look. But with that being said, let's check out day 12's application. So the app we're talking about today is called EdgeSeek. It's available to download via GitHub, link below. And the best way to think about this app is that it's kind of like a simpler version of the One Hand Operation Plus app available for Samsung phones. But again, this one is completely open source. But with the app installed and open, let's run through the setup process. I will just flag, I actually installed this app using the Installer X Revived app that I featured on day six, which is what has allowed me to bypass any restricted app settings that would usually show up. So if you're having issues, then I recommend watching that video first and following the steps to set up the Installer X Revived app, then uninstall and reinstall EdgeSeek using Installer X Revived and this will catch you up to speed. From there, we'll tap next, then I need to toggle this right system settings toggle on. So I'll tap that, then toggle this on, then I'll come back and toggle this ignore battery optimizations and hit allow. Then I'll tap this accessibility service toggle, scroll down until I find the Edge Seek app, then open it up, toggle it on, then again, tap allow. Then I'll come back twice and hit next. Then I'm gonna leave this page as is for the moment. And again, hit next, then next again. Now the app is activated and we can tweak how it works. So I'll start by tapping this edges option and here you can tap any of the available edges. So let's tap this middle right one here like so. And when we do, we'll be taken to that specific zone's customization controls. Now that we're on this page, I'll tap here to activate the zone, but now we can change literally every related action, however we see fit. So we'll start by tapping this seek task option and I'm gonna switch this to control music for the time being just for demo purposes. But this essentially lets us swipe up or down on that zone like so to adjust as we've just configured our media volume. And you'll see a little toast message down the bottom indicating exactly that. But we can then also enable any of these alternate gestures. So a long click, a double click, a swipe up, a swipe down or a swipe left to activate another action. Right now though, all these other options actually only let you select between either nothing or expanding the status bar, which is obviously pretty limited. So hopefully we see lots more options get added in the future, but even in its current state, I can see using a long click or a swipe down gesture to launch the quick settings panel like so, being a very one-handed friendly way to open it when you're not on your phone's home screen. But then below that, we have the option to tweak how sensitive and how large the edge zone is, which by the way, I actually recommend increasing quite a bit if you're planning on using the zones on the top or bottom of your phone. There's also a few other customization options down here, but I'm just gonna leave everything as default for the time being. We can then come back and open up any of the other edges to customize them in the same way. And so through the magic of editing, I could in theory have one zone here for turning up or down my phone's media volume. I could then have another zone set up for notification volume. I could then have a long press on the bottom here set to open my quick settings panel. And then I could set the top to control my brightness. Now, obviously it'd be great if the developer could implement a much wider range of actions, like perhaps allowing us to launch specific apps with certain gestures or to take screenshots or to turn on or off our phone's torch, for example, all of that sort of stuff would be amazing. And if you are looking for an app that does that, then Edge Gestures literally offers all that plus way more, but it's also not open source. So I know that is a deal breaker for some, but fingers crossed Edge Seat gets updated with some of these features going forward. But that's it, that is Edge Seek and that is day 12 complete. And we have officially reached the halfway mark for the series. So on that note, let me know which of the apps featured so far has been your favorite and why down in the comments. As always, don't forget to check out my app shelf for even more great app recommendations. And don't forget to hit subscribe so that you don't miss out on the next episode. But aside from that, that's it. Thank you all very much for watching and I'll catch you later.